Hi, and welcome to Outwell. In this film, I'm going to talk you through the features of our Georgia 7P, which is in our premium collection. You can see here that the Georgia 7P is a large tunnel design tent that can sleep up to seven people. With it being in our premium collection, you'll find that the fly sheet we're using on here is our Outex 5000. This is a polyester material, which has been PU coated on the inside. It has fully taped seams, and it has a hydrostatic head of 5,000 millimeters. The frame that we use on the tent is primarily made up of steel poles from front to back, giving you a solid and rigid structure. And then we have our extended frame system across the front here, which utilizes this alloy pole, which connects onto the main steel pole. What we also have on here is our innovative Outwell wind stabilizer. And what we have is Velcro tabs, which are attached to the fly sheet. And we wrap these around the poles, secure in place like so. You'll find there's one at the top and at the bottom of all the poles around the side of the tent. And this is where we then have our guy line attached. So when we peg the guy line out, what happens is it pulls the whole fly sheet against the frame of the tent and it makes it much, much more stable, allowing you to use the tent even in very high wind conditions. The guy lines themselves, you can see, are all our classic Outwell luminous guy lines. So hopefully that's going to stop you from tripping over them quite as easily. Then each guy line also has its own retainer. So when it comes to packing down the tent, you can wrap up the guy lines in your hand and pop them in here so that the next time you come to use the tent, the guy lines are easily accessible. Something else you'll find here is our easy pegging system. And this is where we supply you with three different styles of peg for the tent. So we give you these steel pegs, which are for the corners of the tent, so your anchor pegs. We then have these luminous plastic pegs for all of the luminous guy lines. And we have the black plastic pegs for all of the black pegging points around the sides of the tent. So the easy pegging system just makes sure that you get the right peg in the right place. Some other features then, you can see that we have some large ventilation panels on the sides of the tent and there's also some towards the back. This just allows cool fresh air into the tent, keeping you a little bit more comfortable on a warmer day. But if it gets a bit too chilly, we can just take these away by moving the Velcro tabs like so and closing down the, uh, the ventilation panel itself. Other features we can see here, we have large windows around the side and around the front of the tent. And these have all been tinted to ensure that it serves two key functions. One is to uh, reduce the amount of glare inside the tent from the sunshine. And two is obviously to give you a lot better privacy as well. When we come around the front, you can see that we have this mud valance, which just allows rainwater to run down off of the tent and it stops it from coming inside. When we get around to the front door itself, you'll find that it is a full walk-in height tent. So um, nice and high here, and also a good width to allow you to get furniture and all your bits and pieces like that into the tent. So we have our panorama uh, front on here, which basically means that the tent is curved all the way around to give you great views out of the, uh, out of the tent itself, because then every single panel has uh, a large window on there. So this area here, you can see, is a good space, so plenty of space for furniture, and obviously you're going to be kept sheltered. We also supply a detachable ground sheet in this, uh, in this area here, and the material that we're using is a double-coated polyethylene, so it's really tough and really durable, and it has a minimum hydrostatic head of 10,000 millimeters as well. So as I say, there are plenty of windows around the front of the tent and on the sides as well, but what you will find is that each window has its own curtain, and you'll just see here that these are zipped curtains, so that just allows you to choose exactly how much privacy you want or how much light you're letting in, and obviously they can be fully closed like so. When we step back into the main area of the tent, you'll see that we have this dividing wall. Now this wall has large uh, ventilation panels on here, which can be closed over again with zipped curtains, and when the door is closed, you'll find, again, there is a mesh panel on here as well. A nice feature on this, uh, on this front door, though, is that it can be opened up and tucked away to the side, just creating uh, a larger front opening to the main living space. So as I say, when you step back in here, you're certainly aware of just how much space there is. I'm around 1 meter 95 tall, and you can see above me, I have plenty of head height, and there's enough room in here for furniture and things like this as well. The ground sheet in this area is actually the exact same ground sheet as what we talked about in the front area. The difference is here is that it's fully sealed. So it goes all the way around from front to back and side to side, and it is a bathtub in style as well, so it's going to protect you from the elements if there's any drafts or anything like this, and also hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs as well. So this tent has quite a unique layout in terms of where the bedrooms are. We have one large bedroom uh, to this side here. I mentioned earlier on that we can sleep up to seven people. So we have a three-person bedroom here, and then across on the side here, we then have two two-person bedrooms. Just some of the features on here, you'll see that we use the uh, wave-shaped hanging point just to alleviate any stress points uh, on the bedroom itself where it attaches to the tent. 
And you will find that these bedrooms actually come pre-attached as well. Some other features then, we have the piping which runs along the door. Now this has been color coded to the tent just for an extra bit of detail. But in terms of functionality, it also stops the zip from catching on any material. You can see just how easy it is to open and close the bedrooms. You'll also see here that the bedrooms have a mesh panel, again for ventilation, and that's the same on the three-person bedroom as well. Another great feature here is the fact that we're using our universal bedroom system. So what that means is that if you want, you can actually get rid of this front bedroom completely, just simply by unclipping at the top and then using these zips. If you unclip that all the way along and at the back, and then take the zips here, you'll just see how easy that would be to drop down the entire bedroom, or as you've just seen, have it in place. Another nice feature on this tent is we actually have a sheet of material here which can be toggled in and brought across to then create a private sort of area at the back of the tent where you can get dressed and things like this. And that's also where you'll find the hanging rail as well. We then also have a large mesh ventilation panel on the rear door, again, allowing cool fresh air into the tent to keep you a little bit more comfortable. And then some of the features inside the bedrooms, we have more mesh ventilation. We have some storage pockets, which are ideal for your smaller personal belongings. And we also have low light windows in the bedrooms, enabling you to have a look outside without having to leave the bedrooms. In between the two bedrooms here, you'll see that we have a large uh, sheet of material, which has been zip closed at the moment to create two bedrooms, or it can be left open to create one large bedroom. At the top, in the center of the tent, you'll find that we have a lantern hanging point. Now, if you come away from that, you'll then find that we have cable tidies which run all the way down to our cable entry point, allowing you to run electrics into the tent without having any cables coming in through the doors. You'll just see next to the cable entry point, though, that we actually do have another entrance to the tent on the side here. Again, this door can be rolled up from the outside, and then the mesh panel can be dropped on the inside, creating great ventilation. There are a few optional extras available for the tent, including a carpet for the living area, there's a footprint available to go under for a little bit better protection. And there is also a front awning available for this as well. So that's all of the features of our Georgia 7P. Thanks very much for watching.